Hello everybody, this is Jesse from Napco Tech Support. And today we're going to go over the quick setup and overview of the basic program of the Napco FireLink FACP. You're going to want to first register the radio portion on the napcocomnet.com. Once that's done, you're going to want to power up the FireLink FACP. Make sure that all wiring is complete or jumped out with a 2.2K resistor and the batteries are connected immediately upon power up to prevent the panel from sending any signals. Once that's done, you can log into the napcoknock2.com, pull up the radio account, and then dealer enter your primary and backup phone number and account number or IP address, set the UL pull fail timeout, and then save the configuration. Make sure jumper number one is removed from the radio to allow the download. Moving on to the default program portion, of the FireLink FACP. It comes with eight integrated conventional fire zones, one water flow zone, one supervisory gate valve zone, five conventional fire zones, and a radio trouble zone. The water flow zone is programmed to set off NAC A as well as every other fire alarm zone, and NAC D exclusively for the water flow zone in case you needed a dedicated water flow bell, and as always program to report alarm trouble and restores on Telco 1. The supervisory zone set for a supervisory and to report alarms and troubles as well as the conventional fire zones are programmed to set off NAC A, general fire, and report alarm and troubles. We have a fictitious phone number entered into the Telco 1 as well as account numbers and this will be overridden by the phone number you entered in the radio. Telco line fault test is enabled as well as all the general system troubles such as low battery AC fail ground fault program to report alarm and applicable restores. Your NAC A and D are both programmed to be silenceable as well as programmed to report troubles and disables. The default fire user code is 123456, and there's a 24-hour test timer programmed in the system. This program can always be modified using Quick Loader by uploading the program through the radio or locally, modifying it, and then downloading the changes back to the panel. If you're going to do this through the radio remotely, remember you're going to need a technician on site to unlock the fire keypad. And as always, for more information, you can visit us on the web at tech.napcosecurity.com. Thank you all for watching today.